Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Asius. I work for United Stack. Today, I will give you an introduction and a demo of the United Stack OS. A, bit, uh, a little bit about us. United Stack is the first dedicated open stack company in China. We have a bunch of top and cool engineering from the infrastructure team of the internet companies and also from the open source world. United Stack OS is an open stack distribution. It is built for private cloud. So why do we need another open stack distribution? Open stack is powerful. This is great, but it is too complicated for most users to run them. And in the open stack system, we have a bunch of related technologies for your database, for your storage, for your network. Usually, users can just cannot run them very well. So can we have a cloud operating system which is as easy as your personal OS or your mobile OS? With this in mind, we have the design goal of the United Stack OS. You can read it here. That is, any IT staff can deploy and maintain a private OpenStack cloud without any services or trainings, or even without the knowledge of OpenStack. This is how we deploy one single machine. You have one machine, you have one OS, and you have a console for that. How can we deploy tens or hundreds of machines? Can we also have one single operating system for it and uh, have one single console for that? So here with United Stack OS, all you need is a USB disk. The deployment of UOS is extremely easy. You do not have to hundreds of pages to read before you can deploy your uh, cloud OS. What you need is three steps. You just need to prepare a VLAN for your cloud and boot your server with your USB disk. The installer will install all the packages and the dependencies for you and configure for it. After that, you can log into uh, your UOS web console. And at this point, you actually can already use the cloud um, already. If you want to add more server, physical servers to your cloud, you can open the console and add install uh, physical server. If you boot a uh, physical server through the network, it will show up there, and you can uh, press install to install the physical servers. Um, all the installation and uh, configurations will done automatically. Here we have prepared a video demo for the installation process. Let's check it out. So we do not, well, we only have one page of menu for the installation. Just the three steps. Here we are booting from the USB disk. Installing, select the uh, network, uh, and you just need one uh, input, the network address you want to use, and the package is installing. Right now, we are rebooting to the hard disk. 
the puppet module is running. The puppet module is doing all the hard work to install different component of the system. Uh, for example, CF, MyCircle, uh, Keystone, and et cetera. Now we have the web console available now. We can um, tap your username and password and continue. Here are the overview of the uh, network. You can adjust the physical server and the virtual machine server IP pool. Next, you can verify if the network works for you by uh, verifying network. After that, all you have to do is, have, is grab a cup, cup of coffee and uh, wait the uh, installation process to be done. Now we can log into the console to use the cloud. Next, uh, we'll show you how to add uh, physical servers to your cloud. Uh, here we can, uh, we have a module to add more physical servers. This shows the current server available. Uh, and this uh, shows the uh, different uh, uh, system infos for your server. If you put a machine through a network, it will show up here. And you can see we already added uh, the second machine into the cloud, and the installation process is ongoing. OK, the, uh, this is an uh, installation. I will do you another live demo of the system. We have prepared the cloud, and this uh, cloud is operating in Beijing. We are uh, already knocked in. This is an overview of the system. Uh, you, can, you can see the uh, CPU information, uh, IP information, RAM, instance, instances, etc. Here we can create instances. Let's create a Windows 7, and we want to create eight instances. OK, we are creating. It should be fast, because we integrate deeply with the safe um, cluster. This way, we do not have to copy data back and forth from the glance to the LOVA. We just can di directly boot the servers from the safe cluster. So it will be faster. As far as I know, we should be the first vendor to um, integrate uh, the safe into the LOVA. Open the console. OK, the Windows is booting. This is our block storage. They also um, integrated with the safe cluster. We can create volumes here uh, with three and let me. Oh, and now we Yeah, it's creative. We can also take snapshots. Um, here are the images available into the system. And here we can add uh, security gr groups and uh, key pairs. And, um, I also want to mention that our monitor system, our monitor system um, is based on Sinometer, but we extended it with a lot of uh, works, we added more uh, metrics. For example, we integrate safe monitoring in it. For example, we, we have uh, capacity of the OSD in the safe uh, system. 
and uh, the health status of the system, read bandwidth, read operations, etc. Also, we create a tool to generate reports. We first need to create a widget. A widget is used to define the data, what data we want to use and how we can display the data. The system is running for a while, so there might be a lot of data. It's loading. OK. For example, if we want to check the hardware or and stash CPU information, I want to check the context switch of the first, uh, the second node and the and the ma uh, master load. We can check preview. Which context switch, and we can save it. Okay, the widget is created. Based on the widget, we can create a report. Here is the widget we just created, and uh, report, report says, uh, report says, one, report says one. We can preview it and uh, save it. This, uh, this is a report we just uh, created. And this is a context switch of the server. It just to uh, give you an idea how this uh, reporting system is working, you can add uh, whatever metric you want to create a magic chart. And this is a store. Um, Swift storage, you can upload, download files here. And this uh, switch back to the admin overview. This is overview of the system. The number of virtual machines, uh, number of physical servers, and the status of the I.O. Uh, network disk information. Here, we can show the current uh, physical servers in the system. You can add more physical servers. Here, if you boot a server with PXE, the server will show it here automatically. You just press um, install here. We cannot see it right now. And uh, it will install it uh, uh, automatically for you. We are loading. Also, we can do since snack migration here. Let's say if I want to migrate this machine to another currently is on the second physical machine. I want to migrate the to the master load. The migration is in progress. Here. Check if it's done, okay. Okay, so the migration is, is done. And this in interface is our, um, we, here we can add projects or users or update the user information here. This is our interface uh, for the logs. We integrated all the logs into one place. We can view uh, various uh, logs, for example, for Nova, for Kisoan, etc. We integrated 
then we can uh, we can type a keyword we want to search. We can also uh, download the node. Okay, I guess this is all for me. Any questions? Okay, guys, thanks.